Here at Stombi, aside from making fine trumpets, we also make great trombones and French horn. But we don't always need them. What you just heard was recorded live in two passes, and the last chord represents a six octave spread from double pedal C to double high C. It was recorded using our four valve edition cornet, trumpets, and flugelhorns, and represents the future of the trumpet. These instruments, all 11 of them, were designed by Vicente Honorato, my partner and founder of Stombi in Spain. Vicente is the first person to develop a complete line starting up in the a brand new instrument the piccolo cornet in high A which has the same range of the piccolo trumpet but gives you the ease of play and the power of a cornet down through F G B flat C trumpet D E flat flugelhorn corno de caccia as I mentioned there's 11 in all 11 four valve instruments in all it changes the landscape of trumpet as we know it until four valve instruments, and in particular these in many different keys, we've been stuck with a two and a half octave range for most of the literature. With the advent of these four valve instruments, you now have a three and a half, four, five, or even six octave range depending on your skill set and how much time you put into it. The fourth valve lowers the pitch of these instruments by a fourth, or in the case of our flugelhorn and corner de caccia, a tritone this was done for intonation purposes on those instruments. So now you've got this whole new palette of colors and a whole new set of notes and octaves and possibilities for composers to write for. Think of the Arturo Marquez trumpet concerto that was written for Pacho Flores recently, an incredible work that could have not have been done on a three valve instrument. Suppose you're an orchestral trumpet player now, instead of having to distort your embouchure and throw slides out and do all sorts of different manipulations to play the low F in Carmen, for example, you've got a very good sounding, usable note. Or say you're a trumpet player in a two or three piece horn section. Now you've got way more possibilities. You can bridge the gap down to the trombone or the berry sax. You can play unison lines with them or other lines with them simulating more than one instrument. You can play quasi-French horn parts, as you heard in the um, fanfare earlier. It opens up so many possibilities. And the most important thing about all these instruments is their sound and how easy they are to play. The harmonics generated by these instruments is not unlike the kind of extra sound you get with a uh, Benedetto 7 string guitar, for example, or a Bosendor for 97 key piano. It's full of harmonics, it's full of colors, it's full of sympathetic vibrations that don't exist in three valve instruments. And because of some tricky things we've done with acoustic and uh, mechanical damping, these instruments are incredibly easy to play. These are the greatest sounding, the biggest sounding, and the easiest to play instruments ever designed, developed, and manufactured. And they're in production now. 
Titan IV Valve Edition instruments. They're the future. <laughs>